what are the singleton design patterns so it's a creation of design patterns lets you to ensure that one class one class only and an instance of class is running while your game or your software is run and until that after you shut down your game or your software it will be destroyed so it's ensure that it's ensuring that one class one class only will be instantiate while your game is running and, and also provide a global access to this instance uh, uh, if you come from unity uh, game engine you probably heard of a singleton design but they they use this design patterns very very a lot so you, you make uh, a spawn manager or, or, or an audio manager and uh, and many many uh, ideas about the singleton design patterns but in unreal engine they provide many ways uh, different ways uh, uh, in in the in the singleton design patterns one of them is the game instance it's a high level manager object uh, it's running it's already there for you so uh, the engine already already provide us uh, one for you and you can make make one uh, as i told you it's a part of the unreal engine gameplay framework also you can make a single uh, a game instance uh, class and and customize that and see as you see fit for the for your game so it will be uh, it will be created for you and spawned uh, at the game creation and destroyed when your game is shut down but be aware of that it will be a single class in the standalone game but in the pie in the play and it will be generated per pie so it's if you have multiple windows pie uh, it will be uh, on each one uh, it's useful to store variables so imagine you are let's give me an example like these uh, endless runner games so you have an endless runner game and the player is picking up all these golden points and the scoring points and and so on and so forth so if you have all these and you want to store this and immediately like for example i pass this level okay go to the next level and uh, all this information if i store this all in from uh, all these information in the game mode the game mode will be restarted immediately after i open the next level and all the information will be gone for me so instead of this uh, instead of putting that in the game mode i will put that put that in the game instance and make and make a container that uh, contain all the uh, necessary information that i need to store this information so in inside an unreal engine i can get the game instance from everywhere so in, in in blueprint again there is a node called game get game instance and uh, i can cast to my specific game instance and do my operation and storing these variables inside uh, inside the c plus plus it's part of the u gameplay statics function library so get a game instance and pass in the world and cast this to my specific game instance and store these variables and so on and so forth so yes the engine provided uh provide us with this game instance class so use this game instance uh if you are a blueprint guy probably you will, you will use uh, for simple things uh, game instance will be fine for you so another way i don't use honestly i don't use this one uh, it's uh, in, inside in the editor uh, from you can create a game single thing class it will be derived it must be derived from your object you will create a c++ uh, c++ file inherited from your object and this is the implementation it must be static and you take a g engine and and it will return this uh, as a game instance for, for, for example so basically I don't use this instead of use either I use the game instance or I use this one unreal engine game subsystem it's very useful and very 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 smart design from a big guy so uh, it's an auto automatically instance classes with a managed lifetime you you take one of these classes and you inherit from these classes as you need for if for example if you are extending the uh, extending the engine functionality and creating custom tools you use the you engine uh, probably you will uh, as a game player programmer you will use the you game instance or, or you local uh, you editor engine it's all related if you want to make some singleton class for customizing tools and and things for for the engine this is for me i i use the game instance as soon as your game starts it will stay alive until the game is closed but this is for just for c++ uh, you can make this in inside uh, blueprint so uh, this is an example for this you have 
the enhanced input local play system they uh, the epic guys make this and local uh, enhanced input local play system i can you we will use this one here use the enhanced new enhanced local output system auto destroy subsystem network subsystem world partition subsystem and so on and so forth so you have many subsystems uh, the engine provides also you can make your own like for example i make this for this example a bullet pool subsystem uh, or scoring subsystem anything you can make a subsystem for uh from uh, this uh you can uh, spawn a bullets return to the to the pool and get bullets length and so on and so forth so let me show you an example let me show you an example if i go to the engine let's make a game instance if i go right click and make a blueprint class and search for game instance if I before I create the game instance, let's hover over it. You it say it's a high-level manager object for an instance of a running game spawn at the game creation and it's not destroyed. It's not destroyed until the game instance is shut down. So it's useful for me to store any information. And as I told you, it's uh, running in a standalone game and it will be one of these. So uh, just to be reminded, if you are running one more Pi, it will be on each Pi. So this is a game instance. And uh, the subsystem, uh, unfortunately, if you want to make uh, new tools and use of the C++ common, all classes sorry sub system sorry sub system all these are the subsystems that you will be, you will be can inherit it and, and, and create so uh, basically I made a subsystem like for example let me show you I make an example like a bullet you bullet subsystem it's uh, it's inherited from a new game in a sense uh, uh, subsystem uh, it can spawn a bullet it, it, anyone can talk to this uh, subsystem like um, like let me show you for example if i go make a, let's make a dummy dummy actor go to the event graph get it. bullet i think bullet subsystem bullet maybe i'm not compiled the, uh, the source code yet but uh, it, it can uh, anyone can talk to this subsystem uh, i made this one like uh, spawning a bullets i have an array of, of bullets and how many of bullets i i can spawn and who is the owner uh, return to the pool and and give me the length and get me the bullet at some index so this is uh, i had made this in, in the subsystem so uh, another one example for if i'm making i'm not i'm not a fan of a survivor i'm not a fan of rts games or unit uh, selection uh, games so uh, this is an example of unit survival unit subsystem it's inherited from new game instance sub subsystem uh, you can add the survive unit for example i'm adding to this array and i'm getting an an, an, an unit index so this is the implementation which uh, i will add to the array a survival unit from a, a type of an AI actor and i will uh, get at a certain a certain index a survival actor unit so uh, this is can be useful i will show you later on it, how it will be useful as uh, in the command design patterns we will talk to this uh, singleton uh, pattern in the widget so uh, this is an example i will show you later on show how we will use this uh, design pattern uh, the single thing this subsystem design pattern view i will show you how to use this in the widget and talk to this and get uh, for example get a unit and uh, pass him a command the, uh, a certain command and do things like uh, moving or, or harvesting or anything of sort so uh, yes these are the design patterns that the engine provides us with us uh, probably i will use the game instance for sim simple stuff and uh, for more complex uh, complex stuff i will use the subsystem the subsystem is unfortunately uh, is not for uh, blueprint you can make a you can't make a blueprint from uh, a subsystem you must be uh, created that in c++ it must be inherited from these classes 
your engine, your game instance, your local player, your editor engine, and you all. And mm, probably you will be always used as a gameplay programmer, you will be using this use you game instance uh, sub system. So yes, these are the subsystems and uh, the single thing class. So uh, we will discuss later on uh, the next uh, pattern. So see you next.